No, I'm into record mode. All right, so the question of um, having, you're doing spiritual work and then having lovely memories of the past and bits of the character, the identity that one wants to keep. And, uh, and uh, I'm, just to, I'm just going to talk on that and whether, and not wanting to let those really good things or things that one feels are giving one um, really nice memories and nice teachings to hold, you know, just to hold on to them from the level of the identity, shall we say, not to, you know, is it necessary to wipe them totally clean uh, to get to those high transcended states to be in the eternal flow? So I'm just going to talk on that. Um, the Course in, actually, the Course in Miracles does say something on that, which uh, I'll sort of paraphrase. It says, like, let go of your dark, let go of your dark thoughts because they block you. Uh, they, they block you off from, your, from the light, shall we say. But even the, your nice thoughts that you want to keep are also a, a, a smaller veil to the, to the light within you. And what I would say with that is, um, I mean, as a, as a spiritual student, uh, of course, I, you know, I'm most, uh, you know, I, the thing I want to get rid of when I'm praying and transcending and doing a lot of work around are things which cause me pain. I think that's just the nature of being human is that I'm going to do a lot of work to be free of all my pain and all my suffering. Uh, things which uh, I associate with nice things or nice teachings or nice memories from the past, which I think are not affecting me or might be useful or are just part of my identity, and I just enjoy just thinking back to um, thinking back to Brixton and how it was nice when I used to go to Brixton, you know, ten years ago or whatever it was. So, do I do I need to work on those? Well, I'm not going to clear anything. You know, um, I think um, I don't think it's you know, however much you clear as a spiritual student will correlate to a level of uh, vibration or consciousness that you reach. And even if you just clear out a lot of negative stuff and practice unconditional love and the Course in Miracles or 12 Steps, you can get to very beautiful places. You might get to love, unconditional love, and, uh, and you won't be doing advanced spiritual work like trying to 100% clear the ego and 100% delete all data from the ego to get to those advanced states. And there'll still be, if you like, some sense of identity at unconditional love, uh, and you'll be enjoying your life, you'll be very, very happy, and you won't be clearing everything. And there'll be a sense of identity as well there, even though you'll be happy most of the time and loving a lot of the time. So, and uh, if you're happy with that, uh, you can be happy at, say, the vibration of unconditional love and live the, live the rest of your life at that vibration. Uh, now, if you get there, will that be enough, though, to be in the eternal now, to be enlightened, or to get to the highest states you've experienced of infinite presence and flow? Well, if you do whatever spiritual work and hold on to, you know, cherished bits of identity or cherished memories, and you get to those states, well, obviously, it wasn't necessary for you to clear everything out, even the good stuff. Now, if you get to a very high, a reasonably happy level of consciousness, and, and you haven't cleared away all the stuff, all your memories, happy memories, or things that you tend to be special in your consciousness, like you keep thinking, you want to think about an orange tree, you know, like a, a thousand times a day, uh, because it was every time you think of an orange tree, you feel happy, or whatever it is. If you, can, if you don't let that go, and you, you're very happy, and you're living a happy life, well, you don't need to let go of the orange tree. However, um, if you get to, if you keep hold of all the things that you think are nice or all the beliefs or all the teachings from an ego level, you're holding on to them at a, maybe at a mental level or a memory level, and, uh, and, and you've cleared everything else out that you can clear as a spiritual student, and you're still not, you still feel intuitively like you want to go higher, then um, it could be time then to look or just to pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance, whether you should start letting go of what we call the cherished uh, memories, thoughts, ideas, teachings. Um, actually, my course lesson for today was something like, like just forget everything you've read in the course now and, uh, you know, just to rest in that stillness. So, um, and teachers will sometimes say that for the very, to get to the very final bits, you're letting go of absolutely everything. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to. Maybe you don't have to and you'll get to those high states. But so I would just say, release everything that's hurting you and that's creating suffering. And if you're very, very happy where you are and there's no inner calling to, uh, and, you, and you feel spiritually that's, that's it, you've arrived, then fine. Um, if, there's, if you get to clear everything that's creating suffering and pain and you're holding on to some stuff from an ego identity level, which you enjoy, uh, and, uh, and, and you're happy with your life, and then great. But if there is still something intuitively that's calling you to even let go of that, then you would uh, probably be spiritually uh, inspired to let go of even those last bits of, of happy memories and thoughts. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to stop the recording.